Hi, I'm Cindy Harris, and we're coming to you today from Edgecombe Community College in Tarboro, and we're going to be teaching some kids how to make any color in the rainbow with just three primary colors, and welcome to Primary Colors for Kids. So first of all, uh, we're going to hand out some sheets for them to work with, and the paint trays, if we may. And from there, we're going to talk about color. Uh, we've already talked early this morning that some people here know a lot about color. But did you know you can make any color from just three colors? Did anybody know that? Yes. You do know that. Okay. Well, did you know which colors get brighter beside each other when you put them beside each other, put, put them together? Well, we're going to learn about that too. And how to make brown. And did you know there's no white in natural world? White is something that's got a shade to it. These are some uh, sheets that we're just going to work on to begin with. We're going to put some color out just to practice. You want to do the red and let yes, me do the, do the okay. Red. What I want you to do here is just to practice making, what we're going to do is mix yellow and blue to make green. Because yeah. yellow and blue and red are your primary colors. Let me give you the, okay, we can do this blue. There's two blues you can use. This is a darker blue a little bit warmer, and this is a lighter blue. So the color you come up with depends on how light or cool your color is. I made charts for everybody too, so I'll hand those out in a minute. Let me get your colors out. So the primary colors are red, yellow, and blue. Okay. So you want me to do the rest of the red? Okay. Okay. There's one. Okay, and we can have more color if we need it. Blue. And like I said, there's two blues here. This is a darker navy blue and a lighter royal blue. And I couldn't decide which one I like better, so I got both for you. Is that okay? Okay. We can get more paint too. I'll just take two blues here and run around here. Okay, first of all, what are your primary colors? Does anybody know? Red? Red, yellow, and yellow. Well, white is not a color, technically, and there is no white in nature. There's, it, white has a shade, but we use white to make things lighter. Just like we use, we can use blue to make things darker. And I don't like to use black. You know you can mix black, right? Yeah, so, but black will make things a little darker. So what I want you to do is take yeah, your yellow and your blue, just like in that picture, and see what it makes. From your, mix it together, just a little, and put it on your mouse. Well, now here's what I want you to do. Let me show you. Mix them together. And see, like, well, you, oh, wait a minute, you do. Let's get it clean here. I want, we start with yellow there, and then, and the blue and the blue, and then when you mix them together, you've got a green. You see that? Okay, does that make sense? Okay, and you, you do red, paint red there, yellow there, and see what that makes. But you need to wash your brushes, okay? Okay, let's see. We got yellow, and then you do blue, and then you mix it together and you see what color that makes. These canvases were magically prepared for you last night. Um, this is a sample of what I did, and there's no right or wrong. But this right here will show colors I like to use together, which are blue, and I like purple. So I use a little more red to make the little area here, a little white, and a little blue. But I like green with purple, so I used yellow and blue to make my green fins. And of course, I've got my red dot here and my blue, so I try to use all the colors. But this is not the only way to do it. Do not look at mine. I've seen, oh, I, love, I love the orange fish. I love her idea of the yellow fish. There's so many ideas that are good. But if you want me to, I'll leave it out so you guys can look at it. Would you like that? Okay, everybody gets a canvas now. I think that we can go ahead and start painting now, don't you? Yeah. Make okay. Sure clean your brushes and then and dab them off. And if you guys need to pass this around to look at it, you're welcome to do it, okay? I do not mind. Did you clean your brush? Okay. As long as you're good. 
These canvases are painted on the sides, so you can go ahead and put them on the wall. You don't even have to get a frame. So your mom, dad can hang them right up. Yeah. Here's one. Is this one okay? And here you go. Here you go. And I'll help you with the brushes. Here you go. Now who needs, can I take your, I'll take your sample if you like, and that way you can have it when you go. Now you can start working on your, on your, uh, Dave. Okay, who does not have a fish? Does everybody have a fish? No, I don't. How about this one? Hunter doesn't have a fish. Oh my goodness. Here you go. Okay, you're welcome. We're going to learn that. It's going to be so easy. When you leave here, you're going to be able to paint any color in the rainbow. Okay, and I'm going to give you these to take home with you. I made you some color charts. Okay. Yeah, if we take red and yellow, you make orange. And I'm going to put this right down here so y'all can see it. And you can take these home with you, but they might get in your way now, right? But red and yellow are both primary colors. And if you want an orange fish, you mix red and yellow, that makes orange. If you want it to be green, you do blue and yellow, that makes green. Blue and red make purple. But it makes a real dark purple, so you might want to add a little white in it. If you want pink, you add white to red, and that makes pink. See, I told you she didn't add Yeah, you're like, <laughs> go ahead and get started. And, and you cannot mess this up. This is, this is your painting, and I want them to be yours. But there's two things, too, that you might want to know. If you want to know what colors look really good together, what colors have, are on the Christmas tree most of the time we think of Christmas? Red and green. Right. You know why? Because red and green make each other hotter. They, call, they make each other almost jump together. And it's because these colors are opposite each other on the color wheel. When you mix the primary and secondary together, you get another color. But yellow and purple are also hot colors together, like ECU. That's why they pick the colors for their school. Because each color makes each other look brighter or hotter, is what we call it. Orange and blue are the same way. Oh, wow, that's really good. Okay. So you're going to do red? You're going to do pink or red? Red. Oh, that's really pretty. I love that blue. And you can put a little bit of white in it and give it some shimmer. Oh, Hunter, my goodness. I love this fish. I do, I do. That's really good. I love the pink. And you, if you try to keep your colors separate, that way they won't mix up together. That might make them a little muddy. Oh, you're doing, you're doing a great job with pink there. You are? Do I need to give you some more fresh water? Who needs some fresh water to keep their colors clean? You do. Okay. Uh, that's the key to having vibrant colors is keeping your brushes clean and making your brushes so they're not um, real watery. You know, you don't want to... Let me show you something about painting. If you take your brush and you go the way the fin grows, see how smooth your, your strokes will be? Oh, wow, look at that. Oh, that is really, really pretty. Okay, now clean your brush off a bit. Oh, I like that pink there, reddish pink. Do you want to put a little white with it? or you? Now, you know, I, I did the tail to make it go up there. That's actually part of his tail. And I thought this was a goldfish, but it's a catfish. So, I'm sorry. If you look at him, he's like Muddy the Mud Cat. You see his mouth and his little things hanging down. Luke pointed that out to me last night that it was a catfish. Okay. Oh, I like this one painted in the primary colors. Your name, what's your name? Brianna is painting hers in the primary colors here with red, yellow, and blue, and I really like it. And McKenna, right? You're using pink, making your own pink with red and white, and it's really pretty. And you are, tell me your name? Jillian. Jillian. She's doing a beautiful pink as well. Oh, what are you doing now? Oh, I like that. And she was talking about earlier, y'all were talking about umber colors. That's a new word for putting colors beside each other. Is that right? 
And where did you get, what, who does that? Is that like on nails only, or is it on paintings, or is it the new face? Umber colors. And it's budding up two colors beside each other. Kind of like what you're doing right now with your fish. Like your fins. Okay. Now remember, if you do blue, you might want to do a little more white to it so that you can make your blue stand out from the ocean. Because the ocean I blue. And that's a dark blue. Okay. Who needs some help? Oh, wow, Luke. You did. You're going all out with the gold. I did not know you knew how to make gold. If I you don't look know at, how I make gold. But yes, you do. Let me tell you how you make gold. I need to hand you a color chart. Purple and yellow make gold. Purple and yellow make gold. How do you make purple? Red and green make brownie gold. See? Blue and orange make a brownie gold. They, they neutralize each other. As long as you don't mix them together, they will be hot together or vibrant together. But if you mix them together, they're going to make that neutral color. That's why it's best not to mix those two unless you want brown or gray or black. So, purple and yellow make gold. Well, they make that brown color if that's what you want. Yes. Purple is blue and red. You want to make purple? Okay, let's make some purple here. Okay. You need a little bit of white. I think I missed the white on No, there it is. I see it. Do you want a, a bright purple? Let's use this color. I want a bright, bright, bright purple. A bright purple. Okay, let's use this color then. Can you see? You don't like, do you like that color purple? A little bit of white? You like that purple right there? Okay, there you go. So you just mix blue, red, and a little bit of white, and you got purple. Well, you, where did you paint the, why, why don't we paint the purple first? That way we won't get the yellow mixed in with the. Oh, oh, okay, okay, I got you. So mix in two complementary colors together, and I know complementary is one of these words that's not going to stay with us because it didn't stay with me until I was, I don't know, much older. But if you mix those two together, like yellow and purple, they will make a brown. But beside each other, they make each other more vibrant. That is looking so good. Oh, I love your, I love that blue there. Okay, and we got white. Yeah, you can do them all patchwork. That's absolutely beautiful. You need some help with any colors or you don't? Okay, use, if you use broad strokes you'll, and, and brush your paint the way the fish is, like along his body, that'll help spread the color kind of evenly. I learned that last night. Oh, that's really good too. That's really good too. Oh, I love the orange. My goodness. That orange is one of the best oranges I've seen. I, that is really pretty. The pinks. Well, Luke, you're going all out here. Yeah, just a sl or even wait till it dries. That fish is really going to be jumping off that page, isn't he? That fish is going, I don't know if I could catch him or not. He might, a shark might see him. He is really a bright fish. I like that though. I love it. Now that's part of his tail up there too. You all know that. I drew the tail to come over the sides and on the way. Yes? What I kind of did, if you get paint on the ocean part, you get the royal blue and you color over the purple or blue paint you got on it. Now you're saying what happens when you do that? Because I got purple on the water. It doesn't part. matter. There's all different colors in the water. You can paint white on your water if you want. You can do it any way you want to. This is your painting, and it's for you to learn how to mix colors. But I'd say let's paint the fish first before we start on the ocean. That way you'll have it done, and you, you can at least you know have that much done. So, okay, yes. I'm done. You're done? Yes, and I need some more white. You need some more white? I need to leave some white because um, it's just, it's play all with some white. You want more white in this? 
This is just beautiful. It's absolutely, it's outstanding. Do you think it's pretty? He did a good job, didn't he? Now, where do you want to put white? Do you think maybe there's enough paint there? Okay, you want me to help you? You want me to help you? You Okay, you want white where? You've got white right there. Right on his tail. What color do you want his fin there? I can't hear you. But he's already white. Don't you want like a white, white, light blue or a, a maybe a pale yellow? Yeah. Okay, we're just going to do it white. That's fine. <laughs> okay. Oh, I like that pink. That is a pretty, pretty pink. Does any... White and red make pink. You're right. Does anybody need clean water? Let me wash, get you a clean water. I like the very... Well, I like the two pinks you've made. I like that. That's really very good. And Luke, I declare you're going to outdo me. You're going to do every color that can be mixed from these colors. Luke's fish is going to be a rainbow fish, I think. Okay. Oh, wow. I like his, his colors around his tummy like that. That's cool. Y'all are doing some of the most clever fish I've ever seen. I'm not, um, I would never have had these ideas that you're having. I'm going to have to have, get art pointers from you guys. Whoa, we got a, Dave, oops, I got it, we're good, just a little, okay, we're good. He's done such a good job, hasn't he, Dave? Look at that, isn't that beautiful? It's okay, don't worry. You, th you think you're done? No. No, you're not done? How much more paint do you think this is going to hold? I just don't know. There's a lot of paint on that painting. Okay. Okay, here's your brush. Now, here's your brush. Who needs more water or paint? I think you all are exploring color. Oh, amazing. I'm amazed at these colors. Okay. Okay, remember what I said about painting? Is instead of scrubbing your brush back and forth, if you'll just do strokes like this, it works much better and it'll save you hundreds of dollars in buying brushes. And let's get some of that off because there's a little bit of much paint. There. How's that? And you're, you are almost done. Just don't scrub your brush back and forth if you can. Just do clean strokes. Oh wow, a striped fish. I am not believing the, their creativity here. I, it's amazing, oh wow. That is, I love the way you're leaving the yellow in there. I wouldn't even worry about uh, knocking them out. I'd let them sit on top like that. They look good like that. You know, you don't even have to blend them. You can let it sit up there. Because this paint will build up. It'll build like a raised surface that blue. Yeah, and if you want to turn the, if you want to do the ocean lighter, that's fine, but let's paint the fish first. I, I like it though. Now that is cool. Looks like a storybook fish. You know what I mean? It looks like it needs to be in a picture book. Oh, wow. Now that's a really pretty coral color. Do you know how you made that? Red, yellow, and white, and you came up with that all on your own. That's really pretty. That's a pretty coral. I like that. So what are you going to do up here? Have you decided yet? Well, so now you've got purple and yellow beside each other, so you see where they kind of mixed together and made brown? I kind of wanted a lighter color of purple instead of so dark. Right. So I mixed the purple I had made with some white. That's Make good. It Absolutely right. And here's your chart to show you, remind you how to do that, which I know you know how to do. That does make a very dark purple when you have a dark blue and a dark red. So white's your answer. What color are you going to come up here with? The head. I'm still thinking about it. Oh, okay. Considering. 
Oh, I like that light color for his head. If anybody needs any help. Oh, wow. Now that's pretty. So you're going to go with a little bit darker orange? Mm -hmm. And how did you make that color? Then I got a lot more yellow. A lot more yellow? Mm -hmm. And down here you just did a little bit of white in it, is that right? Mm -hmm. Okay. You're doing a good job. What color are you going to do his fin down there? The same color? Mm -hmm. Orange. So he is going to be a goldfish. I thought he was a goldfish until I realized he was a catfish. That's really good painting. Wow. Look at this. He did some stripes. Luke, I love it. I love it. Hunter, I'm all done. you're all done. Let's let it dry because this is going to be a masterpiece. And if uh, do you want me to wait and paint his eye back in after it dries a little bit, it's going to need to like dry for maybe a day and uh, we'll paint his eye back in, but that is really good. That's a masterpiece. Thank you. You did very good. High five. All right. Does anybody need help? Everybody's about done, aren't they? Okay, everyone, we're all finished with our paintings now. Can you tell me what we learned today? Or does anybody, did anybody learn something they didn't know? What did you learn? The primary colors being, or what are they now? Does anybody remember primary colors? Um, Shout it out, everybody at once. Yellow, red, and blue. Right. And then you've got this beautiful coral here that is so pretty. How did you make that color? It's pretty. I like that. And I love the dots that you've done here, McKenna. That is very clever, and I like your peaks. What made you decide to use pink there and pink up there? Did you like the way it repeated? Because I like the pink and the purple just being together. together. I do too. And you, Jillian, you changed your colors of your background of your ocean to make your fish stand out more, which I really think is a good idea. What made you decide to do that? Just I wanted to make the ocean more lighter. That's a good idea. Well, now I'll tell you what, this one right here is my goldfish, and that's what I had wanted to paint all along. And you're eating goldfish. So what made you decide to paint it like a goldfish? Um, one of my friends was an artist, and then he teached me how to paint one of these. And you made these colors by mixing what two together? Um, red, red and yellow. yellow. Very good, I really like that. Okay, Luke. You've got stripes. Go ahead. I'm sorry. I like that. You've got the stripes here. What made you decide to make it stripes? You just want to do something different? Yeah, and then I remembered that putting red and blue together makes some, or orange and blue together makes them stand out more. Oh, yeah, you're right. Putting these colors together, and we, I always forget what that's called, but they're called complementary colors. Red and red is green's complement, yellow is purple's complement, and blue is orange's complement. They make each other's co colors more hot, look hotter. Like look her at her shirt here. The green, the blue, um, the orange and the blue make each other more vibrant, just like Christmas tree colors. Okay, let me see. Oh wow, well how did you make that color? That's really pretty. That's a very unusual color. Um, is that red and? Blue? I mixed red and. Blue and white. Well, I want you all to keep these charts too, so that way you can refer back to them if you want to. Well, Hunter, this fish is just amazing. I see every color in the rainbow. We've got every one here. Not all. Oh, I, I don't think we're missing any. But that's a really good painting Why there. Why isn't in the rainbow? Uh, well, they're all there. Red? But not. No way. No black, no. okay. Well, Oil no, okay. Way. Technically, okay, you're right. There's no black in the rainbow. I just want okay. to believe that it's got Well, that's... Kind of that is very creative. And this one is, I think, one of my favorites. And I just love the way you changed the... You just went with a, one color, and you went through what we call changing the value of it, or the tint, by adding white, right? Yes. Did you add some red and yellow in there to make it a little bit different blues, too? Yeah. Just as white. 
That is really cool. That, that to me looks like, I want to call it Midnight Fish. It needs to be a book. Okay, and I, this one is so clever because you've done like a patchwork design on it. So what made you decide to do that? Did you just? I wanted to put a lot of colors and make different colors. And you did. What's your favorite color you learned to make today? Is it that one right there? That's very unusual. What is that one made with blue? It was navy blue with white. White blue. That is really good. Well, you all all did good. I love the coral again in that one you did. Your mom, who is a colorist, is going to be amazed, isn't she? I hope she. Do you think she's going to hang it up? Do you think your moms are going to hang these paintings up? All right. Thank you all for coming to Primary Colors today. I enjoyed it so much, and uh, you all are, can take these home and enjoy them forever.